Hi, I'm Ryan with Michigan Truck Spring, truckspring.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about torque rods. Torque rods are an important component of the suspension systems on medium and heavy duty trucks and trailers. They work to keep the axles centered and aligned, and on trucks the torque rods will help control the driveline angles. In this video, I will show you how to correctly identify the bushings found in each end of a torque rod and how to take measurements for when you need to order replacements. Torque rods are very simple suspension components with only the torque rod shaft, the ends, and the bushings. The shaft can be solid like this, I-beam type like this, specialty styles like this, which are vehicle specific and suspension specific, and an adjustable like this. Adjustable torque rods are used to adjust alignment without needing shims. They're threaded on both ends, and when you turn the center section, they will change in length and allow you to shift the axle forward or aft. The lock bolts on the end secure the ends and lock it into alignment once the alignment is set. The bushings on the ends of the torque rods are the only wear item, and in most cases they can be replaced. There are different types of torque rod bushings, and whether just replacing the bushings or the whole assembly, it's important to know what you're working with. First I'll start off with explaining the different types of torque rod bushings that you might find. This is a straddle mount bushing in rubber. Straddle mount bushings accept two bolts, and when looking for replacements, take notes of the bolt size and the center to spinner spacing between the holes. Most bushings will not rotate once they're installed, so it's important to take note of the angles of the bolts in relationship to the torque rod shaft. Not all bushings will be in line with the shaft, they may be set at angles to allow them to connect to the frame and the suspension. This is a tapered type bushing. These are normally found on differential housings, and this taper will seat into the mount and secure with a single nut on the end. When measuring the tapered type bushings, you'll need to measure the major diameter of the taper, which is the largest point, using a set of calipers is the best way, the minor taper, which is the smallest diameter of the taper, the taper length from the base of the taper to the top, and the total length, which is the measurement from the back of the bushing all the way to the ends of the threads. Sleeve type bushings have a metal sleeve in the center that accepts a bolt. When measuring sleeve type bushings, all you need to measure is the inner diameter of the sleeve and the length of the sleeve. Besides the bushing mounting types, there are also rubber and polyurethane options for most bushings. This is a rubber bushing. Rubber is the most common bushing material and it is excellent at absorbing vibration and shock. Rubber will be the most cost effective type of bushing. This is a polyurethane bushing. Polyurethane is a bit stiffer than rubber, but it's extremely resistant to breaking down from oil and heat, and urethane will not dry rot like rubber can. Some torque rods have ends that are not replaceable, and the entire assembly needs to be replaced. This is a captured type or high confinement torque rod. The bushings are made of rubber, but the edges of the metal are rolled over to prevent the bushing from sliding out under high side loads. If you tried to press a replacement bushing into these, it would be ruined, so in this case, the entire rod would have to be replaced. The other type is a full ball type torque rod. This has an end that's a ball and socket type joint and boots that contain grease inside. They're not serviceable and not replaceable, but this type of torque rod is extremely tough and are normally used on severe service applications. Now that you know how to identify the bushing types, I'll go over how to measure the entire torque rod assembly for replacement. First, you'll measure center to center on the bushings. This length is important for aligning the vehicle after you're done. If this is wrong and the torque rod is not adjustable, realigning the suspension afterwards may be difficult or impossible. Identify your bushings for side A and side B. If they are the same type, do not assume that they both measure up the same. Check your measurements and verify both. Check the mounting angle of the bushings and note if they are aligned to the torque rod shaft. In some cases, the bushings may be tilted to allow it to mount to the frame. Finally, measure the shaft diameter. This may be important if clearance is an issue, but in many cases, the shaft diameter can be flexible and it can be interchanged with different sizes. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this video has helped you identify the bushings or the torque rod that you need to replace. 
If you still need help or have questions, feel free to reach out to us at 1-800-358-4751 or contact us at truckspring.com.